everyone, this will be a brief demonstration of how to use a backstrip pump. We have a previous video on how to assess an IV site and what to look for when you're caring for an IV, and also how to use an Alaris pump. So for that information, just refer to that other video. This will be specifically about the backstrip pump. So when we're giving IV fluids, we treat it like a medication. So we're going to do all our rights and our checks, assess for allergies. When we go into the room, make sure we have the right patient. The patients are getting the fluids for an appropriate reason. We do all of that stuff. It's important to remember you treat IV fluids just like a medication. So um, I have my supplies. So I have, I've checked my order and I make sure I have the correct fluid. I make sure it's not expired. It's not leaking. It's not cloudy or has been tampered with, it looks great. Um, and then I have my tubing. This is specifically the Baxter tubing um, that goes with the Baxter pump. So you just have to make sure it's the right tubing, which I have. I also have some alcohol swabs, gloves, because I'm handling technically a medication, and then a normal saline flush, because we always flush the IV before and after we give anything through it, just to keep it patent. All right, so I'm gonna knock on the door, I'll have my hands washed, um, I'll you know, introduce myself to the patient, explain the procedure, um, assessing for allergies again. I make sure I have the right patient by asking her name and date of birth. I've done all my checks and all my rights. Um, so I have my pump here. I make sure that it's plugged in um, and that it is you know, charging and working. Um, I'll show you how to turn it on once I load the tubing. So I'm going to open my IV tubing and the first thing you always do is to clamp the tubing so you don't lose any med or fluid. I'm going to unwrap my tubing here. And then I'm going to spike my bag. So I'm going to remove the cap here. Remove my cap from my spike, making sure not to contaminate anything. And then I will push and twist to put this in here. Okay, and then I'm going to hang this up here on my IV pole. I'll untangle here. And then I'm just going to slowly, I like to take the cap off and slowly prime the tubing into my trash barrel to um, get all the air out of the tubing. And don't forget to squeeze your drift chamber until it's about half full. I'm just going to slowly get all of the air out of here. Perfect, so that's primed. I don't see any um, bubbles, so that looks great. I'm gonna replace my cap just so I don't contaminate the end of that. And then the Baxter pump is a little different. It comes with this blue clamp that um, kind of works like a key. And that's how we open the pump to load the tubing. So you have to insert the clamp and then it opens up this door here. And then it, it tells you what to do right on the screen here. So there are a couple places where you have to make sure that the tubing is in. So they're numbered here. So number two, it's already in. Number three and number four, you just push it in so that um, the screen turns green and then it will tell you what to do. So then you close the door and your tubing is loaded. So the next thing I'm, I'm gonna do is hook up the patient. So um, I've done my assessment and the IV site looks great. So I'm gonna grab my alcohol swab. I have my flush ready. I'm going to clean off the end of the IV here. Give it a good scrub because it's been you know, laying in the bed with the patient. Let it dry. And then I'm going to take the cap of my flush off and it's a lure lock, so you push and twist. I'm going to flush my IV um, anywhere between maybe three or five or 10 cc's. The um, facility will tell you how much fluid they want you to flush with. I'm gonna take the cap off of my IV tubing, push and twist to attach it here. And then I like to start from the IV up to the bag to make sure all my clamps are open. There's a clamp on this IV tubing. Make sure that's open. I'm gonna undo my clamp here. I'm gonna go all the way up to the pump and everything looks good here. And then I'll go ahead and I will program my pump. And it gives you prompts here. 
you just go through the menu to put in whatever you're giving the patient. Um, so you would type in flu in, it will tell you, ask you for a rate or a medication. You do what's outlined for you on the MAR. It will tell you exactly how fast to run it. And then you just hit run and the patient's getting their meds. Check on them, make sure they have everything they need and tell them you'll be back to check on them in a little bit. Document, wash your hands, and then you're done.